How's it going everyone? Adam Bon Giovanni back here with another Thursday video for OnlineBookUp.org's official Facebook page and official YouTube channel. Now today, obviously I know it's about to be June 1st tomorrow if you're watching this when this video first comes out. If you're not, it's the summertime. Even if it's Christmas, it's the summertime in your head. It's all up in here. I was thinking like whether you're in high school and you're going through summer reading or you're an adult and you're picking which books to read for the summer, reading is most likely going to be a big part of your summer if you're watching this video. So I found an article on bustle.com and they said here are the reading accessories every bookworm needs for the summer so i'm like okay i'm gonna go through the list and say you know what i, I approve of that i think a bookworm deserves to have that reading accessory or no no that, that one sucks so we'll see also if you're wondering what this is like how my hair is kind of like has this missing piece right here and it makes my hair look kind of awkward this is a cowlick hair doesn't grow right here for me like in this per it's a little bald spot on the top of my head so if anyone's wondering watching these videos because i'm pretty up close and personal with the camera that's why so the first thing that they listed was like a normal book related tote bag where you can just like carry books and stuff and i'm like you know what like if you're going to the beach you're going to travel that, that's definitely worth it so yes to the tote bag Next up is an LED book light for reading around the campfire. Now, reading around the campfire sounds like awesome in like kind of like a Tumblr way where it would probably look cool and like feel cool, but I've never read about it around the campfire before. However, I think an LED book light, especially the one that they're showing, looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna also approve that one. Now the next thing is a book page holder for easy beach reading in every position. Oh, so I guess like it means if you're like on your back or like you're on your side, like you could page stays up. I never used one of these before, um, but I shouldn't be biased. However, I think your hands will do fine against gravity. I, I don't think that's necessary. And I feel like rude saying it. Like I'm like, oh man, I'm bashing this poor little book holder thing. And then I'm like, it's an, an it's an inanimate object. It doesn't have feelings, Adam. Shows you where my priorities lie. All right, next up is a bookish towel for the beach or the pool. I don't know. I think that's as simple as it is. I think that's pretty cool. And like if you're reading, it'll kind of show people like, look, I'm reading. I'm, I'm so serious about reading that I have a towel that has books on it, so don't disturb me. Next up is a little ridiculous. It's a table stand for ebook beach reading. You go to the beach often and you have this issue where like you need this like spider looking thing to hold up the book for you so you don't have to stress about holding it with your arms. You go for it, but I don't think this is necessary. I think this would look kind of ridiculous if you brought this to the beach or anywhere else. I guess it'll make people not disturb you. A backpack for your bookish carry-ons. Yeah, that's cool. If you're going on a plane, bus, train, whatever you, whatever vehicle you're taking to get to your destination, it's good to have a backpack to carry things in. They did tell us to get the tote bag for that reason, but you know what? A backpack is a little bit more secure, so let's go for it. The next thing is like a, a beach hat that says do not disturb on it. I feel like if you're reading, people will most likely kind of know do not disturb you. And I don't think I'd ever wear a beach hat just because it's like not my style. And if you want to go for that beach hat, you go for it. I think it's kind of funny with the do not disturb, but I don't think it's necessary for bookworms in the summer. Especially if you read indoors a lot, you don't really need a beach hat unless you want to just look stylish for your cats. The next thing is waterproof headphones for poolside audiobook listening. Now, I feel like they'd be pretty expensive, right? If you're that clumsy and you might fall into the pool with your headphones on or you want to listen in the pool, that's pretty awesome and I respect that. I don't think I'd ever listen to audiobook while like underwater. I just don't see me doing something like that. So I don't think you need those and they're probably pretty expensive, but if you're the type of person who wants to go underwater for a few hours and listen to some audiobooks, I say give it a try. If you're gonna read in the, uh, in the summer bookworms, all you have to bring is a book and everything else will come naturally. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace!